The new guidelines, or recently revised guidelines, I should say, for hormone receptor positive and HER2 negative advanced breast cancer reflect some of the new findings of biological therapies. Importantly, it is felt that any patient with hormone sensitive disease should be tried on hormonal therapy as initial treatment. Now, there are some exceptions to this. Patients that have very rapidly progressing disease that have visceral and bulky disease that may be symptomatic or have what's called visceral crisis. For those patients, it's still felt that induction chemotherapy might be most appropriate. Then if they do have a response, then moving them on to endocrine therapy. But the vast majority of patients are felt to be candidates uh, for endocrine therapy first. Now, I would add as my own editorial comment that patients with low estrogen receptor expression do tend to have a, a lower response. And uh, under 10%, we typically at our center start off with chemotherapy. But having said that, the, the first approach for patients would be some form of endocrine therapy. Uh, and it's also been felt that in patients who are premenopausal that ovarian blockade should accompany this. Uh, so uh, with the advent of the biological drugs, uh, the guidelines have reflected the fact that they have not yet been associated with a survival advantage. So they actually give you the option to use an aromatase inhibitor either alone or with a CDK inhibitor as first line therapy. And then a second line therapy, uh, fulvestrant, is typically used. And this can also be given with a CDK inhibitor if it hasn't been used previously, or with everolimus, or exemestane with everolimus are all acceptable second line agents. But again, the biological agents not having produced a survival advantage and having some side effects, it's felt that uh, one can go with endocrine therapy alone or with biotherapy. Now I'll tell you that in our practice, we generally do combine a treatment with biotherapy, certainly with CDK4-6 inhibitors in, in the first line. And after that, when patients are refractory to hormonal therapy, then we move on to chemotherapy. And at the point at which you do it, or at which you say someone is resistant, really uh, uh, goes by the patient's clinical status or so, some amount of clinical judgment that has to be used there. For hormone receptor positive and HER2 negative breast cancer, the level one evidence uh, points to the use of an aromatase inhibitor and ovarian suppression if the patient is premenopausal. The, the use of CDK4-6 inhibitors is recommended in the first line therapy on the basis of its clear uh, improvement in PFS. Uh, however, uh, one could consider endocrine therapy alone, uh, particularly in someone who uh, may uh, not be able to travel regularly, who may be at risk for complications of neutropenia. But keep in mind, we have not yet identified clinical or biological factors that can reliably tell us who will and will not benefit from a CDK4-6 inhibitor. And the same goes for Everolimus.